Hey, big fella, it's your boy, B Webb, Westside Hoops TV. Hey, we got a great show for y'all this week. We got Caleb Kears, Chris Page, Josh Christopher, and our very own trainer, Ree Brown. Supper time. Hey, what up, y'all? It's your boy, B Webb. We back with uh, Caleb Kears here for his interview right here, Westside Hoops TV, the show. Um, just getting into it a little bit. Got some of the top athletes, and right here is my guy right here. So, uh, going to talk to him real quick. Tell him about yourself. How old are you, my man? Nine years old. Nine? Okay. You just had a birthday a little while ago, right? Uh, when was your birthday? March 3rd. Oh, okay. So, congratulations. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, so, tell me, how long have you been playing basketball? Since one. One? How you play basketball at one? The ball's bigger than you, man. Oh, my dad had bought me a little court. I used to like to shoot on it. Oh, okay. That's what's up. So, uh, now, so you've been playing since one. How many teams you play for? Two. Two? All right. Uh, what teams you play for right now? Uh, Dominators and Maharlika. All right. So you're playing for two teams right now. If you had to choose one, which one would you choose? Dominators. Dominators? Oh, okay. Why is that? Because I've been with them a long time and I have a lot of friends. Oh, you got a lot of friends on in there? So you got to play some team ball or are you a one-on-one -on -one guy? Uh, kind of a one-on-one -on -one guy. <laughs> it's all right. So uh, who's your favorite team, if I have to ask you? Uh, Oklahoma City Thunder. And where are you from? California. And you like Oklahoma? That's all good. Westbrook. Who's, who's your favorite player? Russell Westbrook. Huh. I see you got some dope kicks on right now. So you you shoe head? Yeah. You got a lot of shoes? Yeah. What's your favorite pair of kicks right now? Steph Curry's. Steph Curry? Which ones? The All-Stars. Uh, those are kind of dope. Why you like those? Because I like when he writes his Bible verse on me, and it meant a lot to me. Oh, okay. And yeah, that Bible verse meant a lot, you know, to a lot of people. You know, give you a little inspiration, get a little motivation, go out there and cross some people up. Speaking of crossovers, what position you play? Uh, point guard and the wing. Point guard and the wing. Got a jumper? Yeah, I like to shoot a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, being a Steph Curry fan, I can see that. Um, so with that, uh, with that crossover, you got 10 seconds left. The game is on the line, 52-52. What's your move? What's your go-to? Hesitation between the legs, shot. None but net. Can you show me a little something? You can. All right, let's see what that crossover looked like, man. Okay, little Spider-Man. in the country, playing with 14 U. Again, it's your boy, Caleb Kears. I'm your boy, Be Webb. Peace, Westside Hoops TV. Yo, Westside Hoops TV, it's your boy, Be Webb. I'm in the studio with my guy, Chris Page. AKA Swaggy C. He's like one of the top twos, threes, fours. You actually can put this dude anywhere on the floor and he gonna get his money. So uh, right now, man, talk to him. Uh, you, you got a lot of workouts going on. You playing a lot in a lot of the major tournaments. Uh, what's your workouts looking like right now? Well, it's actually going good. I'm conditioning on my legs and like my balance and my vertical and like push ups, trying to get stronger. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what you're gonna have to do because you got uh, shoot, one more year and you're going to enter the high school. Um, I know a lot of a lot of high schools want you right now. Um, have you decided anywhere yet? Well, really, I'm not really looking to decide whatever whatever high school I go to, I go to. I don't know, I'm gonna be a star. Hmm. That's a good attitude. You got a good head on your shoulders. Um, right now, who's your, you know, we in basketball season, who's your favorite team? Uh, I don't got a favorite team, it's just LeBron. Oh, LeBron's you're a LeBron guy. fan. What's yeah. up with all these LeBron fans, man? <laughs> we, we on the West Coast. He's the a, he's a king, man. Huh, I all mean, right. because, like, to be honest, when I was younger, I liked Kobe. Okay. And, like, as you, I just seen LeBron play, and it was like, wow, that's my guy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, they both went high school, straight to the NBA. Um, if we still had that option right now, do you see yourself as one of those players that's going to go, would go out of high school? Nah, I want to get my education. I feel like education is better than playing basketball. Like, so say if you got injured and you couldn't play basketball no more, what would you do? 
Mm. It's like you'd rather have a, a bachelor's degree or a master's degree and be successful in life. It's not. Well, education is important to me. It's up to everybody else, though. That's just me. Hey, that, that's that's pretty real. You know, somebody from your aspect, you you in hoop, you in the hoop session. You know, Monday through Sunday. You know, yeah. and for you to really have that that outlook on basketball and sports is life. That's a big thing right now. So you got a good head on yeah. your shoulder. Cause I always learned that from my coaches, like you, Francis, D Rock, everybody. Always been telling me school is important. Yeah. And my boy Subaton, we got we got everything. We just trying to build a nation right now. Hmm. It's all about it's all about being successful, going to school, getting a degree. Do something with your life. That's right. Well, you know, you, you're talking a lot about education. Yeah. Um, what What do you see yourself doing? You know, I know basketball is always our ultimate thing, but what, what do you like other than basketball? Well, I like history. I'm a big history. Like, like y'all might don't think if I'm a nerd when it comes to history, because like I know everything, so it's like cool. And then like it's like in class, it's like you get the opportunity to like learn new stuff every day, and it's just like your IQ just keep progressing and stuff. So it's like better. So um, you also was in the uh, Pangos camp uh, yeah. just a couple weeks ago. How, how'd that go for you? It went great. I got a write up. I didn't even know the dude was watching me, and like he just said, like I'm a like a good slasher. Like I get to the hole and I do what I gotta do. But he said the main focus was me getting my IQ better. Cause like if I see if I, if I see somebody open, I don't throw the ball in time. So it's like my reaction to like like the floor is like not that good. So I gotta work on that. Okay, so that, that's good. You know, even though you not know, a lot of people see you at the top tier of your game, you still recognize that you still yeah, have a lot of work to I do. I learned a lot from like everybody because like my coaches, everybody who been with me, they all know what I need to work on. I just listen. It's like you you can't have a bad attitude when you come on the court. You just gotta listen and like just do you. And if you got a problem with it, take it up with your coach and ask him what is really the wrong in the game, and he'll tell you. That's mm -hmm. like everything you gotta do. That's good. A lot of coaches like to hear that, you know, players, well coached players actually listen and, and take that feedback and actually yeah. apply it. Um, so, uh, yeah, and I just heard you had a nice little dunk, huh? Yeah, man, you know, we was at practice. You was there, actually. You remember that? <laughs> I mean, like, man, we was doing this drill and my boy Paper had threw the ball out. And like we had to do a move, and like I did it, and I just jumped it, and like we just boom. And then like the craziest thing about it was like my brother was there, so it's like he was like, oh, wait, hold on, how you gonna dunk before me? So now he dunked after that, so we just like all wilding now, and then we just had fun, went home, talked to my grandma about it, and we just like went on from there, and now we just like jumping out of the gym now. Huh. It's cool. Well, that's what it's like. So uh, how many days a week are you working out, like to really advance well, yeah. your game? Well, like starting now, I'm gonna probably be working out four, four days out of the week, and then like Saturdays and Sunday, that's where it's time to go to work. Games day, all day. Yeah. So, are you able? You say you like school. So, how are you able to manage all these workouts with school and balance? Because it's like at school, like in class, they actually give you time to do our homework. So, like we will probably do 20 minutes of classwork, and then and then do like 15 minutes of like our homework, so we can try to get done. Cause like I be telling, I be traveling and stuff, so I get my homework ahead of time, so I can do that in class, mm -hmm. and then I don't gotta do nothing in the world. So I just be like chilling in my hotel. Room. You do what you want when you pop it. Yeah. You do what you want when you pop it. You do what you want when you cop it. You do what you want when you got it. Yeah. You do what you want when you pop it. You do what you want when you got it. What up, y'all? It's your boy, B Webb. We back, Westside Hoops TV, with my girl, Ree Brown. She's an athletic trainer for us here on the West Coast. She does all our major events out here, all our big tournaments. Um, so, and she's a business owner. She has her own company. I'll let her tell you about it. So, I'm the trainer for uh, All Sports Medical Services, and we pretty much cover all of Southern California's basketball events, especially during the viewing period with all the high school kids are showcasing their skills for the D1 coaches and all the other coaches. Okay. Um, so you doing that, what made you go into become an athletic trainer? Um, in college, I got hurt and found myself in the training room mm -hmm. and fell in love with it. Okay. Not being hurt, but the training room part. Yeah. Um, so you was there for a reason, so that means you was playing sports? Yes, I played uh, basketball. Okay. Um, what position did you play? I was a small forward. Small forward? Mm -hmm. oh. So where'd you go to school? I went to Cal State Dominguez Hills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's right. So um, in your basketball career, how, you know, where did that take you? 
Um, so after college, I didn't play that much. So I was frustrated. But because I'm half Japanese, the men's coach, uh, one of the assistants, he asked if I wanted to play professional basketball. And I thought it was a joke. So I told him no. And then he asked again uh, my senior year. So I said, well, why not? So we started training. And I got intro uh, introduced to a couple of agents and we went to Japan for two weeks and I went to Tokyo and then I went to Nagoya and I made both teams but the rules are different for women there because I'm only half Japanese, I have an American citizenship. In Japan the rules are different for women. On the men's side they take foreign players but on the women's side they don't. So I pretty much had to red shirt my first professional year and lose my American citizenship. So I decided not to do that. But I did continue um, trying to play overseas and I ended up in a uh, tour in Budapest. Yeah. And I got filmed from there and then I landed my first job in Portugal. Oh, okay. So basketball actually got you to travel around the world and- For free. For free, that's a big plus. You know, really get to play the game you love and right. really meet some people. Yeah. So, um, you, so you see a lot of injuries going on. You know, me uh, also being a coach, a lot of my kids get hurt. So, is it something that they can do, like to maybe kind of prevent them from getting hurt? Is easy? Um, I always tell people this: seat belts don't stop car accidents from happening, but the seat belt does help prevent the type of injury or the consequences of an injury. So, as far as you know, trainers are known for taping. So if you don't want to wear ankle braces, get taped. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to wear tape, you have to work on your balance, work on your strength in your ankles, uh, be aware of your surroundings, and um, really, really, really work on your balance. Because when you jump in the air and you got to land and you have poor balance, you have a tendency of falling over someone's ankle or falling on your own or coming down on your ankle. So I always tell the kids that it's important to do the work before you start the game. So stretching, proper warming up, the night before eating properly, putting what's putting good stuff in your body to help you perform on the court. <laughs> Hey, we back. It's your boy B Webb, Westside Hoops TV. I'm with my guy Josh Christopher, aka J Gup. I get that right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, that's what's up. Hey, um, man, another top athlete we got here, eighth grader. He's just out there killing it right now. So um, we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, so right now, what, when did you get interested in basketball? Uh, when I was younger, you know, my big brother played ball, and uh, I would be always be at his games, you know, just watching him, and I think it kind of inspired me watching my my middle brother play ball too. So kind of fell in love with it. Yeah. Um, before that, uh, I don't know how old was you before you really start picking up a ball and really going to work. Uh, you know, I was it was I was, I was pretty cool. Yeah. You been uh, hooping, so uh, I don't know. Tell me, who's your favorite team right now? Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a uh, I have a favorite team, but I'm a big LeBron fan. So wherever LeBron's at, you might catch me where you know. Uh, over there. Okay, LeBron, he, he be dope. I, you know, <clears throat> I rose with LeBron. You know, I, I'm not a Cavs fan, but I like basketball. He's a, he's a good athlete. So would you say you patting your game after him? You 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 steal any of his moves? What? I wouldn't say that, but uh, he's definitely a player that you would kind of want to be like. You know, coming out of high school into the NBA, that's real something that you would want. Yeah. So, what's your uh, you going into Mayfair next year? What do you what do you see you gonna bring to the table with with your squad right now? Uh, I, I could score the basketball. I'll be able to put the ball in the basket. You know, at will. You know, I'll be able to get other people the basket, get others involved. You know, just kind of bring an excitement to the team. Yeah, that's what we're missing that that excitement. Get that team ball going. Yeah. So, uh, who are you playing with right now? I'm playing with the Oakland Soldiers. Oh, okay, Oakland. That's a that's a nice little little trip. How you like playing? You know, with with a team so far away. Uh, it's a good experience, you know, I'm, I, I like to travel, you know, and it's uh, fun to see new people and just get to see other kind of basketball. Mm -hmm. So you guys do with the Oakland Soldiers, you guys do a lot of traveling, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so where have you traveled so far? I know my first tournament was in Portland, I went to Virginia, North Carolina, 
um, and many other places too. So you, you uh, just in the eighth grade, it's a lot of adults who haven't did that much traveling. Yeah. How, how's that broadened your horizon? How's that opened up your mind as an athlete? Well, for, it's truly a blessing because, you know, I know other people can't do that. And it's uh, yeah, getting, a, getting a chance to play other people, making a name for myself on the East Coast, you know, in the South and the North and the West Coast as well. Yeah. And also being on a, uh, such a top, high-rated uh, team, so you bring something to the table. You know, are you ranked right now? You you in there? A couple of sites have me ranked as top 20. And, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's what's up. You looking real fit, like you athletic. Can you uh, slam it down? Can you bang or what? Yeah, I could, I could dunk a little bit. Dunk a little bit? You might see me put it in there a little bit. You dunk on anybody? Uh, actually, a couple of weeks ago, I caught a slight body on a brother. <laughs> oh, so you're going to put your brother on blast. You, you dunked on your brother, huh? You know, you got to do what you got to do. That was my first one, so, you know, I had to speak on it, of course. Oh, okay. That's what's up. It's not about basketball, this is about your life. Do you understand? Yes, sir! It's about hard work, putting in all the extra time that you need to become a better person, a better player. Do you understand? Yes, sir! It's about